Um, next step, we're going to insert the power supply. This is the EVGA um, NEX650G 80 plus certified gold. Right, um, so this is a fully modular one, which means that none of the cables that you need are pre attached, they come separate in the box, and you can choose what you need based on the components you're going to use. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, this, with the fan, because there's a, an, an air vent at the bottom of this case, we're going to insert, we're going to insert it this way, with the fan facing down, which pulls air in and pushes it out through this exhaust here, to this vent. Okay, so just make sure you just align it. It's really easy to do this one, nothing major, and especially since it's a modular one, there's no cables annoying you. And if you turn it around, as you can see, it's very easily aligned. And there's actually, in this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight potential screws you can put. I don't think it's necessary. I'm just going to put four on the outer um, area. So I've changed the screwdriver, by the way. And uh, And all you need to do is screw it in, and it's quite simple. And that's it, really. Um, as usual, try to do opposite sides first. Um, I'm wondering if I should be using the rubber grommets that come came with them, which would reduce vibration. Ah, I can't be bothered. My client will do it if he needs to. He's not that bothered with noise. Right, okay, so two more. Lots of screwing. Lots of screwing. I'm talking about screws, guys. Nothing else. Okay, last one. In. Voila! Voila! Um, just to show you that the case came with lots of these rubber pads. Uh -huh. And can open them, which is meant to you know dampen or reduce the vibration noises. So if you feel that you must use some of them on some of these screws, so by all means, uh, I'm not sure whether they are used on these PSUs. Certainly for the hard disk drives. Okay, so now that's installed. Uh, let's have a look at the other side. If we need to be screwing anything, usually you don't need to. No, that's fine. Okay, so, um, right, so far we've got the motherboard inside, the CPU and the CPU cooler, the aftermarket one, and the power supply, and the RAM. So now, the only thing that's left is really to attach some of these cables, but we're going to do this later because we're going to first install our hard disks, um, SSD and uh, the normal hard disk and also the VGA card. I think I should be okay. I think I will not need to take this off. The VGA card should fit in here. So I'll get to So that's our next step. Okay, see you in a few seconds. Okay guys, um, now time for the pièce de la résistance. Uh, okay, this is the GeForce GTX 780 Ti from Zotac. Again, just remind you, I'm not sure about the Zotac company. Someone uh, needs to do a review on them. I'm not saying it's bad, not saying it's good, just say I don't know about them. Um, it wasn't the card I picked for my client. Obviously, as you can tell, orange color. And we've got blue, black, and white. So, not very good color coordination right now, but hey, that was his choice. I uh, did warn him. So, anyway, so to insert the graphics card, this is the PCI um, bit. It's going to go in this slot, the BCI Express slot. There's only one on this board, so there's no way we're going to be able to do any future Crossfire or SLI. However, with this card, you shouldn't need to. Um, so what you want to do is first to make sure you need to be able to judge by placing it to see which one of these slots you need to take off. And my guess is going to be the second and third from the top. So what you need to do is just kind of lay down your graphics card to the level of your PCI slot and 
try to verify yeah it looks like the second and third so basically the back port is going to be the second and third which I have to take off to be able to pop these out so um, oh that's quite interesting I'm not sure what this is the, the yellow I'll have to check is this is a DVI um, port yeah DVI I I think yep um, and you have your HDMI and a display port so cool so let me just put this down here while I move this over so we said the the second and third from the top so I'm just gonna push this out push this in from outside and this should pop kind of break it they're, they're kind of plasticky and uh, some of them are kind of screws which is better these ones are annoying to take especially the lower quality ones oh, come on right got one out and the second one just next to it again push out push up screws in the way there right not very good quality this way and you know lay this on its back again so if you come up here obviously we're going to insert it this way the fan blowing in up direction so all you need to do again is align and lower your graphics card and this one is just about fitting the length so that's something one of the advantages again to Pick your parts from a site which can give you compatibility okay so once you kind of check your graphics cards inserted in your PCI slot you just push it down and you should hear click there you go and that's in and if you want to make sure from the other side I mean I can actually see I'll show you after I've screwed it in so now that's in place the next step you want to do is you need to secure the bracket to the case okay guys I actually find one of the toolless thumb screws for the um, graphics card so I'm just gonna easily secure that I did say easy didn't I yep 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 there we go sorted it's quite handy I have a feeling I should have used one of um, those toolless thumb screws for the back PSU as well but hey live and learn okay